Our latest Facebook Marketplace impulse buy, Polaris XCR snowmobile built on top of a Yamaha Warrior swing arm, and then kind of just like a bunch of things welded together for the front of it. Only issue is the guy, when we went to pick it up, didn't have the belt on it, and he said it was out of gas, which is never a good sign when you're buying something from Facebook Marketplace, so we're not sure if it's gonna run yet. But she's a triple? Yeah. It doesn't even have any muffler. This it literally doesn't have a muffler. It doesn't it's have any air in here. Is that a sock? Should try pick up. <laughs> I kind of regret touching this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so there might be a lot of problems with it, but we're gonna figure that out as we go, and we're either going to regret this purchase or be super stoked about it. <laughs> what the hell's going on today. Evan should just use that as his new vehicle to get around on. Full speed run. That thing is violently fast. It might be faster like that than it is as a snowmobile. How she run? She runs pretty good. Brakes don't work. I mean, judging by how long it took you to stop, I kind of assume that. I think you're going like 55 yeah, at yeah, least. You're there. probably going almost 60 miles. I think an that's hour it. Then. It felt like 100. I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> Evan has hit approximately three bumps. We're already starting to camber out. <laughs> take it off the road for three seconds and it just falls apart. I think we need to take a ratchet strap and then just ratchet strap both of them together. Once in a while, Ben comes through with a really solid idea. Well, let's not jump to any conclusions yet. One of these times, I think we're gonna be very impressed with one of our Facebook Marketplace buys. How's that looking? Is that looking straighter? It yeah, Much straighter. I think we're good. Almost too good now? Is there such a thing? Okay, all right. Give it the classic. Yeah, that ain't going anywhere. It just ripped the radiator in half. Dude, I thought you guys were excited. I did something cool. <laughs> no, I, stop, I, stop. I ruined it. Ev, you were ripping this track harder on this than you were on your bike. Uh, I can safely say it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the next day, and Evan and Slim made a couple adjustments to it to fix the radiator. Well, actually, this is a completely new, fresh radiator, isn't it? Yep, it's reinforced, ain't going anywhere. And then, we got ice that we're going to just throw to cool on top. Boom. Just dial. I think it's foolproof, honestly. <laughs>
think we overheated her. I might go as far as to say is this thing officially sucks. Hi. I'd agree. Hi. Should we sell it on Facebook Marketplace? Hi. Try. What? I don't know if anyone else would be dumb enough to buy this. It's just some pressurizing. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. We have problems with like every single vehicle that we film anything with, but this thing has just been a constant pain in the ass. Did you like riding that flat track? Dude, it was pretty hard at first. It's all about finding a good groove, a good rhythm, and then just sticking with it. I hate to chalk this up as an L, but how long are we gonna dick around with this thing? I mean, I'm over it. Let's get one good jump. Okay, I don't know if I should be saying this right now, but with 100% certainty, this thing is a piece of shit, and we don't want to do anything more with it. No, and you shouldn't be saying that, because none of us are certain of that. There, there might be a one to 5% chance this thing is a beauty, deep down inside. But <laughs> mostly certain this thing's a piece of shit. If we could bring it back, I would, but I know damn well that guy's not taking Dude. it back. <laughs> All right, if we were aiming for the middle of the pond. I think we might have gotten a bullseye. <laughs> Guys, could have ridden that. It was so perfect. When this fine. thing gets deeper, dude, I'm doing that, but staying on. This thing looks the same as before it took off the jump. Should we post it on Facebook Marketplace and say it ran? All right guys, we're at Gold Creek Lodge in Idaho riding some of the gnarliest dirt biking trails in the country and today we're going to attempt to do it on pit bikes. Some or most would call this a bad idea. To prepare for this, we did absolutely nothing except for put skid plates on. Just skid plates, we're safe from all elements at this point. If we're even able to like get anywhere, which is mostly what I'm worried about because so many things are like rutted out and you can barely get through it on a big bike. So this should be interesting. <laughs> charging today. He had a couple rough days and he's gonna make up for it today. I do have a <laughs> false sense of security with all this safety gear on. <laughs> Holy crap! This thing you have to hump the bars otherwise it just wheelies over backwards. I'm sorry little buddy are you okay? Oh, we're good. These things are so small they don't they don't get hurt when they fall. So for some context, that's how easy it is to do on a big bike. Dude, this is so much fun, but it is sketchier than big bikes, I might say.
Okay, we're down one bike already. Micah's triple clamp broke, or what yeah, happened? No, just the bolts are coming loose, and then when you're on this stuff, the, they just keep coming loose, and we don't have the big enough Allen wrench to tighten it. Shout out Ryan, he took it back. Gave me his bike, what a guy. I was really excited to see Ryan going up this though. I know you were. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else's bikes smell really, really bad. We done forgot these things were air cooled. First gear rev limiter, the whole way. Yeah. Everywhere. So many rev limiters have been hit. <laughs> All right, let's keep going, huh? Let's do it. All right, you ready? Yeah, yeah. my valve stem so now the tire is just spinning on the wheel like watch this fix this yeah. oh hey I was gonna ask did anyone wear a Liat neck brace I was hanging on the tree when we left camp Evan this is not the time well I took a dump and then I looked next to the outhouse and there was a Liat uh, chest protector hanging and then I thought I'd tell you guys when I remembered now Ross came in clutch with metal zip ties what is new do we want to get absolutely Western with it or just run it like that it's fine it's fine. All right, I think this is gonna work better now because usually when you're riding hard enduro, you want uh, less air, more traction. No air, all the traction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might have to reset them when we get up there. Definitely something new. Like we've done that a lot, but on pit bike, completely different experience. I personally enjoyed it. All right, I'll uh, see you guys in uh, whatever we're doing after this. Me too. All right, guys, we have the winners of the last pit bike giveaway. Three pit bikes, three separate winners. Here we go. Pit bike number one, blue. Connor Powis from Copenhagen, New York. Pit bike number two, the white one. Brandon James from Uli, Florida. Pit bike number three, Lathan Howie from West Bend, Iowa. Congratulations to Lathan, Brandon, and Connor. Let's give them a call and tell them. Oh, hello? Hello. What's, What's up, up dude? dude? Is this Connor? Oh, yeah. Congratulations, man. You just won yourself a pit bike. I did? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You stoked? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Good. I'm in shock still. Good. Can I take like a screenshot? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. Hello? Yo. Yo, what's Yo. up, man? There's just like zero chance that you guys are calling me to tell me that I won the pit bike. There's a 100% chance that we're calling you to win the pit bike. And you cop the white one, bro. No shot. Yes, sir. You're just blank screening us right now? See, the thing is, I got COVID like yesterday, so I'm still in bed. Uh, no worries, brother. No worries. There we go. There we go. It was good, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. We're going to give the last winner a call. Until then, rest up. Final winner, pit bike number three. Lathan. Lathan. Evan's hoping for a hot mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what up, dude? Uh, I'm just farming right now. 
it looks like it. You know why we're calling? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. You you uh you want a pit bike? That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, congratulations. We'll text you over the details and send this your way. All right, thanks. All right, later, bro. Bye. Can you imagine just getting a random FaceTime call from us three idiots and being like, you want a pit bike? Nice, congrats. Sweet, later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everyone that got entered. Probably gonna continue to do these pit bike giveaways because everyone can ride them. Everyone seems to like them. Those of you watching that didn't win, we appreciate you for just buying the merch and supporting us. bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering